Hi, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another Smart Figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the pros and cons of using mineral color as a guide to identifying minerals. When you look at a specimen like this, what's the first thing that catches your eye? Is it the shape of the crystals? Is it the number of crystals, their different orientations? Or is it the color? If you're like most people, color is one of the first things that you notice about a mineral or a rock. If we look at this granite, for instance, it's the different colors of the minerals that allow them to stand out to our eyes and allow us to identify quartz or hornblende or potassium feldspar. But color is not all that reliable an indicator of which mineral you're looking at. For example, here are four different colored specimens, but they're all the same mineral, quartz. Here are five different colored specimens, but they're all the same mineral, fluorite. What makes these quartz samples and fluorite samples different colors? It's just little impurities, small amounts of other elements that get into that mineral and stain it a different color. You could think of this as like the food coloring effect. If you're making a batch of pancakes and you put in a few drops of green food coloring, suddenly it looks like you've made something very different indeed, but it still tastes like pancake. More reliable than color is luster. Here's an example of that. This is the mineral galena. You can see a tarnished example of galena on the left, and you can see a relatively fresh specimen of galena on the right. Galena has a metallic luster, meaning that it reflects light like a metal. So that's more reliable than color as an indicator of which mineral you're looking at. Then there's also streak. Here's an example of the mineral pyrite, which you can see has a nice golden color and a metallic luster. When you scrape pyrite against a streak plate, you'll see that it leaves behind a characteristic dark gray colored streak. And the color of that powdered form of the mineral is actually a more reliable indicator of which mineral you have than the color of the mineral itself. Thank you for your attention. This has been another Smart Figure.